Sebastian, are you there? Hello. 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 Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Are you there? Because I cannot see anyone. Ah, okay. You cannot see us at all? Yes, of course. Ah, okay. So um, I was trying to put on the video, but apparently it doesn't work. Uh, I'm very glad that uh, you had the opportunity to have this workshop. I think it's a successful uh, and nice conclusion to your project, which I have followed uh, straight from the evaluation until now with the help of some colleagues of mine. Uh, be sure that we have uh, a lot of interest in the activities that you have uh, executed in the course of the project and uh, that your message that hydropower is a sleeping giant has been heard. I think uh, many people are conscious on that, but of course, these uh, strategic roadmaps and, and research agendas are, are things that involve a lot of uh, uh, stakeholders and uh, inputs from a different side of the energy landscape. So uh, it takes time sometimes for messages to be brought uh, to the right, uh, to the right place uh, where decisions are being made. But still, I think the EU has also shown in the past few years its uh, willingness to, and uh, really its willingness to support hydropower development and also the awareness of its importance. Uh, you've seen that we has that we have held some workshops together with different DGs because DG Environment, for example, is also an important stakeholder, seeing the everlasting discussion on the environmental impacts of hydropower. This is also part of the concerns that have to be addressed when you try to pass the message on the importance of hydropower. Uh, with your project, I'm also very satisfied with the, with the progress. Huh? You have seen that along the project duration with our assessments. There are always things that uh, can or could have been made better, but I think in your case, uh, there was not much uh, discussion on the, on the successful completion of the job. Um, Talking about uh, further developments, uh, you are also aware that other demonstration projects on hydropower and flexibility are currently ongoing and that activities do not stop on hydropower uh, with your project. Um, there, there is a call also ongoing still on the hydropower subject. Uh, all of this tend to show that um, yeah, we are we are on the EU side also uh, willing to to make an effort on uh, on hydropower promotion and including hydropower as an important contributor to flexibility in the in the energy field. Um, having said that, um, anyway, we will also because the project is ending this uh, this month of April. Um, We'll have the opportunity to discuss again the result of the project. So I will not, I will not uh, lose longer time, use your longer time for this. And uh, yeah, I must say that uh, both we are quite happy of having supported your action, and uh, we keep on with uh, efforts on the hydropower promotion as a valuable contribution uh, contributor. I don't know if you have questions or... Yes, there are a couple of questions, um, and especially re regarding Uppsala and NTNU laboratory works. Mm -hmm. This is not a financial thing, but uh, we might end up uh, with the results in May. Mm -hmm. And we would like to have it in the final report. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so is it okay to to bring it into report in the in the final report in the end of the 60 days after the 60 days of the completion of the project so it is okay for you to report because anyway your, as your project ends at the end of april uh, you will have until the end of june to report finally report on any result that you might have obtained so uh, talking about uh, let's say uh, explanation of the results you have until june 
Uh, but on the side of, uh, let's say, supporting uh, the lab work or the scientific work, uh, legally, uh, the period of eligibility will end at the end of April, which means that the scientific work that should or would be done in uh, May or June, that would not be something we, uh, we are in the frame of this contract financing. I don't know if that addresses what you were asking. Yeah, but but yeah, you're right. So there's the finances are okay from both sides. The question is to bring it into the final report. That is what we're needing. Meaning that might come into the report after our final VV meeting. Yes, but that's part of the game in the uh, uh, Horizon 2020 framework because normally, uh, would it be a normal intermediate period? We would hold the review meeting after you have submitted the report in June, so sometime in July or August. But considering that uh, these review meetings also entail, uh, let's say, personal cost for final review, we ask you to have it in the 60 days period after the end of the project, meaning that it might be possible that you have not submitted a full report yet once we have the review meeting, but it's still fine. I mean. Uh, Results can be highlighted in a posterior subsequent uh, report, and there is no there is no problem with that. Okay, thanks. Then I think you got the answer we need. Are there any other questions to to the project officer? If not, we have uh, representatives. Uh, yep. Uh, we have representatives from XFlex projects as here as well, so they have been listening into the, everything we have done so far. And I understand you're also the project officer in that project. So yep, indeed. So that was precisely the project I was talking about when talking about demonstration subsequent demonstration projects. Good, good. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, uh, thanks, Sebastian. I'm glad. Uh, there are no big issues to, to be handled from so far. I am quite sure that uh, this project will end with as planned and, uh, and the final report will include all the deliveries and what, what we planned for from the start. Uh, and I'm quite impressed that we haven't, that we haven't uh, been delayed more than this because of the COVID situation that has been going on. Indeed, this is an achievement. This is an extra achievement. It is, yeah. and I'm sorry that you couldn't come here because it's really nice to see people again. <laughs> yeah, be sure that uh, I'm the first one to regret such a situation, but uh, yeah, indeed. Uh, okay, but still, I have the opportunity to talk and, and see your presentations, and this is the most important. Mm -hmm. Okay, then uh, thank you, Sebastian. Thanks for You're the welcome. support. We'll see you on the 19th of, uh, of May. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm still there. You can continue. Um... Okay. Thanks.